and welcome back to Addict's Boat Sailing. This is my new boat, Mingale, Excel Star 28. Hello and welcome back to Alice Go Sailing. This episode's a little bit different. I'm in Jersey at the minute and I'm about to go look at a brand new boat. Well, brand new to me anyway. And we're going to see if I'm going to pick it up, do a little upgrade from Merakai and go maybe more than one half, so we'll see. Now, the boat I'm looking at is this Telstar 28, and I found it on Facebook Marketplace. Hein from Boats on Wheels actually sent it over to me, and well, I couldn't resist, so I ended up making the trip over to Jersey for a test sail and to go over everything. It's a bit of a project, but that's definitely not something I'm scared of. This boat was made in America and is the only one in Europe that I know of and it definitely has an interesting story behind it. It spent a few years in the States, then getting shipped to Scotland and living there most of its life, and hence having the name of Mingale, which is an island in the Outer Hebrides, and then it spent its last year here before I came along. And I can hear you all asking now, is it a trailer sailor? And the answer to that is yes it is. It's probably the biggest trailer sailor going, but it can definitely be done. Now the other question I can hear you all asking is why a try? And that's for many reasons. The obvious ones are speed and space. When trailer sailing, it will give me the ability to extend my range of exploration from the slip, which means bigger adventures and the extra space makes doing that a lot easier. And did I mention it also has six foot of standing headroom? Now, some of the bad points with this boat is that the roof has been compressed into the centerboard casing. The gel coat is shocking. The mast raising system is broken. It's sinking a little bit. The electrics aren't great. And I also discovered that half of the centerboard is missing. Plus a bunch of other little things that you will find out in an episode further down the line. But I hope you want to follow my adventures aboard this ultimate cruising trailer sailor. And I can tell you all now, I have some big adventures coming that you definitely won't want to miss. But before all of that, we have the adventure of getting Mingle back to Blighty. And when I say we, that means I have some crew. So enjoy this adventure. Right, I'm just about to head over to pick up my crew. Um, Lizzie's joining us. She's been on Merakai before, uh, earlier in the season, you would have seen that. Um, but she's gonna help me sail it back because uh, oh, it's always good to have an extra pair of hands when you're sailing a new to you boat. So yeah, we're gonna jump in the burrow dinghy with my outboard. And we're going to rip over to the beach over there, tight around the mooring, and hopefully the tide doesn't ride, rise too much. Um, but yeah, I'm just leaving the boat open. It's Jersey, no one's going to come and take anything. Um, we've still got a few jobs to do on the boat, like tying down these frames. I might fit one of them to where it's meant to go. Um, I need a few bits from the shop as well. There's a chandlery in there, and it's the only one open today. So... That's lucky because I need some uh, spinnaker sheet blocks so I can run the spinnaker because on the Thursday when we head back we'll actually need the spinnaker because we'll be going dead downwind, well not dead downwind, but downwind and uh, it's about 13 knots, 15 knots so the spinnaker will be a big help and uh, I want to fly it, I want to fly a spinnaker, I've missed it for so long since both my previous boats haven't had one. Look at that, nice, almost second pull maybe. It's a two and a half horsepower four stroke. Um, only got a forward gear, but you can spin it all the way around. Yeah, let's untie and uh, head off. Okay, very nice. She looks better from a distance. She needs a bit of work. Right, it's low water now. Low enough that you won't be able to get into the harbor to the dinghy dock. So I'm just going on this beach here. They've got a couple moorings I can tie the boat up to and then I can just wade out to it because it, the tide won't change too much by the time uh, we do everything we need to in the shop and stuff. Mingle was moored up in there in the dry moorings. Um, we just put it out here because we want to be able to get out in the tide and stuff. And it's also the neeps at the minute, so very uh, low, which is unusual for Jersey, but normally you get massive tides here. Massive. And just like that, we made it. Nice, clear water, sandy. I'm just gonna stick it on this white marker. 
shouldn't be too bad. Head up there and uh, find Lizzie. Lizzie! <laughs> Back of the boat, got all the stuff on it. Done a bit of tidying, had a bit, had an apple. Healthy, I know. I'm gonna head over to the fort now and uh, try not to capsize this thing. <laughs> right, so we made it on the island. You can uh, see the little harbour thing. It's got a couple of mooring balls. There's kind of an anchorage area out there, so it's all sand, so it's nice to ground out if you've got one that can do that. I just tied it off to the wall. I'm gonna go check it all out. Well, we just walked up along the harbour. He comes through his little doorway and Jesus Christ, look at this view. Look at the water. You can see the bottom and you got everything. It's nice, isn't it, Lizzie? Very good. <laughs> <sighs> uh, what's that? Now this is a spot to have a fire. It's a bit of a store bunker. Oh! My boat's over there. Hucka Pucka! Hucka Pucka! Hucka Pucka! Look at this. That water is so nice. Just had a spot of lunch. Lizzie's uh, pumping up the bathtub, uh, which we've got. I don't want to take that back to the beach. Um, I'm currently marking up the uh, clutches because well, it's nice to know on a new boat what's what. So we've got the main halyard, then we've got the spinnaker halyard, then we've got some other ropes which I've got to figure out what they do. Probably some reefing lines. Um, a topping lift which is the black striped one it looks like but it's not on there so maybe it's only at the mast so these are all the things I've got to figure out Whee! and he's off <laughs> right I'm off to take this dinghy back and uh, come back in my little dinghy so I'm a one oar uh, I'll see you in a bit Right, made it on the beach and you can see, dinghy is tied up, everything on there. And now I've got this little weapon. Would you just look at that? Now that I have the borrowed tender dropped off, we have no more loose ends in Jersey. So that means it's time to sail back to Blighty with a few stops on the way. But you'll have to wait for next week's episode for that adventure. Now, a big thanks to all of you for supporting me and my little big adventures. And I hope you continue to enjoy as I have some big ones to come your way. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.